Hey friends, welcome back to John Dot Drinks. Today we are going to do our second entry in the Luck Potion 2022 challenge. In this drink, um, you are going to need some whiskey, but not just any whiskey, you are gonna need a clear whiskey. Um, today I am going to be going with White Owl. It's a clear whiskey made up here in Canada in Calgary. Um, it's mash bill consists of rye and wheat. It's not really that spicy, but it is. it does taste like a whiskey. Um, and it's important that you use a clear whiskey in this recipe or else the drink won't come out as red. Um, next on your list, you need a bottle of Campari. I'm sure you all got this around. And then you will need some rich red syrup. Um, not a simple syrup, so you're going to do a two sugar to one water ratio. And then you're going to add a couple drops of red food coloring just to make it give it this nice color. On to the prep work. Okay, so the first piece of prep work we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna make some strawberry tea ice cubes. Now, whenever you're blend making tea, it's really important that you follow the instructions on the bottle or the container. Um, tea has a very specific time it needs to steep. Um, if you oversteep it, you're gonna end up with something bitter, and if you understeep, you're gonna end up with something bland. Um, so always make sure you're following on whatever it says, as well as the right amount of water. And we're gonna time that for three minutes. Next, we are gonna create some large ice cubes. I'm gonna scoop this out because I don't wanna make a mess. Next, we'll place our ice cubes into the freezer. You will also need to chocolate coat some moonshine soaked cherries. Now, I love these cherries. I use them in many of my drinks, usually in preference to the Luxardo cherries. And this challenge just seems like the perfect opportunity to chocolate coat them and make something completely different. Once you're done coating these, uh, throw these into the freezer. Okay, to start this recipe off, we're gonna drop our strawberry tea ice cube into our glass. Then we are going to add two ounces of our clear whiskey. As well as one ounce of our Campari and half an ounce of our rich red syrup. Now, it's important that you actually make sure this is a rich syrup. Campari is notoriously bitter, as well as tea is bitter. So we're gonna wanna balance that out with some sweetness. After that, we're gonna stir this until it's a bit chilled. So one, and then two. There you go, what a wonderful, vibrant red drink. Let's give this a try. Now, you do get a lot of Campari with that, as well as the tea, so it is very bitter, but we added just the right amount of sugar to balance that out. It almost tastes like a Belvedere. Um, that's usually a mid me with the bourbon instead of gin. We're gonna try to give this a little boost and bite a cherry and then give it a sip. Mm. That blends so well together. Yep. That is a very fantastic drink. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, remember to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell on your way out if you want to be notified when we upload next. Let me know in the comments below what you want to see next, and, to, and until next time, cheers.